Hi, I'm Kevin Charles, product development engineer here at Embraer in Melbourne, Florida. My job here at Embraer is a product development engineer and essentially to take anything that the designers come up with and make it into reality. You know, taking their sketches and saying, okay, well, let me model this out for you and place it inside the virtual reality world uh, of the aircraft and see, will it fit, will it work when it uh, actually goes into production and actually is flown. It's very satisfying. When you're tired in the morning, you get up and say, oh, wow, I have a really cool job. I get to be very, very, very uh, creative. Uh, use, use my creativity, um, especially as a kid. I used to do a lot of drawing and sketching and artwork when I was a kid. Uh, and now I actually get to use some of that again as an adult. My interest in engineering came early. Uh, I always had an interest in math and science. I loved it. I thought it was interesting. I went to high school in Louisiana and my bachelor's degree was from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette in mechanical engineering. After graduating from there, uh, moved to Florida, started working on the space shuttle program and decided, you know what, I think I'm going to go back to school and get another degree because I kind of miss actually learning in that type of setting. Decided to go get my master's at Florida Institute of Technology and a master's in space systems. My experience with the space program was very interesting. I was uh, what they call the Environmental Control and Life Support System. Uh, some people call it ECLIS. The main part of the job was to ensure that you know, the astronauts on board had a habitable uh, environment, you know, breathable uh, air, oxygen, nitrogen. It taught me how to um, be able to think on my feet in certain situations, like you know, when time was critical, uh, obviously in a space shuttle launch, you have minutes, sometimes seconds, to make a decision. You had you know, six, seven astronauts that you were worried about. You know, your system has to work properly. In Embraer, you know, you're having to worry about the passengers, you know, your, how many passengers you're carrying on a plane. Your system or, or your design, your part that you design, it has to work. My interest in aviation actually didn't come until much later in life. I remember one time NASA celebrated 50 years and they had a preview air show that had come on and they had the F-22 Raptor show up. You know, the pilots were just, you know, just playing with us, you know, just kind of, just, you know, kind of coasting along and they all of a sudden just hit the thrusters and just go for it, you know, and just come banking at uh, ridiculous angles. And, wow. That is really cool. I think that was probably the one, in, at one moment, that really sparked me, uh, my interest in jets and planes and it's like, they really are cool. Do as well as you can in school. Uh, do all your subjects, whether it's math, science, English, history class, do well in all of them. And then from there, start reading on things besides what you learn in school. You know, open up, pick up a magazine, open up an aviation magazine, get passionate about it, talk to people who are in the uh, industry, talk to engineers, talk to pilots, talk to technicians, uh, go to your local airport or, uh, or hangars, hang around them, talk to them, just observe and learn. And trust me, it, it pays off in the long run. You'll have a nice, fulfilling career.